are back recording chapter 6 of Seeker part 1 that we are going through with the fine comp mm -hmm. giving a good release. scrub yeah, yeah. Putting, the, putting the wax coat on almost mm -hmm. that's what it is yes okay I'm gonna read um Okay, I'm going to read up to Augmenting Please Wait, and we'll tackle mm -hmm. this all as a chunk, I think. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Solitaire shimmered into existence on the edge of the Trelasi system. Its systems came back online one by one until it was time to wake Jewel up. She was stepping out of the pod when the console registered an incoming signal. Connect. Jewel was still gathering her senses. A fluctuating waveform filled the main screen, and the shuttle was flooded with a low-tech robotic voice. Vessel designation, solitaire, state intent within Trelasi system. It was an automated sentry drone, guarding the exit point for civilian transit. Jewel rolled her eyes and tried to clear her just revived mind. Bounty enforcement, seeker group. The words took their time to come out. State destination, Trelasi prison station one. While the drone was processing the information, Jewel changed into her usual attire and strapped her weapons in place. Nightsticks on the hips, submachine guns on the straps around her stomachs, uh, around her stomach. She was already, she was almost ready when the drone finally answered. Vessel designation solitaire. There is a red warning in effect relating to Trelasi Prison Station One. Only the most essential of trips to this destination are permitted. Augment records, Jewel settled into her seat. Augmenting, please wait. <laughs> Fucking robots, man. <laughs> uh, the robot talk is mostly okay, I think. Yeah. Should it be augment records or more like uh, update or or like? Uh, uh, it's like synthesizing, like the data from Solitaire with the data they've got in the system, they're like sort of updating it, checking it. So yeah. like, oh, she's a Seeker. So what does that mean in Trelasi terms? Oh, in Trelasi, Seekers have got access to such and such. Yeah, and, so, it's, you know. so, so it's more like adding an extra layer of data and, uh, and sort of like adding a clearance level. Mm. So I, I will mark it green just in case. Maybe I can come up with something better for, for Augment. The, f the first thing and uh, uh, that struck out to me most was Trelasi system, its systems. Yeah. That was That hit me like a fucking brick. <laughs> and I can, I can fix it right away. Bam. Nicely done. Right. Until it was time to wake Jewel up. Now, I, I, online one by one, until it was time to wake Jewel up. Now, I know this isn't what the sentence is saying, but it sounds like where uh, they get to a certain point, and it's like halfway through its mm -hmm. life resuscitation procedures, and then it's like, oh well, Jewel's awake now. I won't bother with the rest. I know <laughs> that's not what the sentence is saying, but it's like until it was time to wake her up and then it sort of stopped it it didn't bother anymore um, but I know what it's saying is all its functions were online at which point it woke Jewel up uh, actually that wouldn't be the case okay she would she would still be only brought out of stasis uh, when when they when they be, uh, when they came in contact with a beacon yeah so they come into contact with the drone and then it's like, she, yeah. So I can... Also the whole one by one uh, functions coming back online, that doesn't really hold either, because no. the, the, fu the, the systems are actually working, it's just that... Uh, oh, I know what to say. It's more like... Uh, Uh, 
second. Right, and we're back. Uh, so what the beginning of chapter 6 is doing is it is now very briefly summarizing the, the same thing that we witnessed uh, at the beginning of chapter 1. Yeah. So we can say it ran the usual diagnostics and continued its path or and traveled I think it's important that we mention the arrival in the Trelasi system. Yes. Like I don't, I don't think we should just jump straight to sh she's awake and you know. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, I mean, the the reflection here is a is a good thing. Hmm. I'm just sort of trying to uh, create these mirror points. So the di diagnostic running resuming course or traveling and mm -hmm. then the wake up and also if we we have established that uh, these beacons uh, or di district beacons are what signal the the ships that yeah it's it's time to slow down now so I wonder why would she already be out of stasis when uh, when there's a signal? Oh, except this. Ah, oh, okay. Now I get it. So this drone is not the, the district beacon. I need to think about this a little bit. I see. I. <laughs> I might be wrong in my headcanon assumption here, but I see him more as like a border security guard. Yeah, yeah, mm. like this, uh, uh... This, this drone is not the same thing as District Beacon. No. Uh, so this, the function of this drone is, uh, is not to, it's more like, NONE SHALL PASS! <laughs> 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 this one's mm. function is not to not to alert the ships that it's uh, it's time to slow down. Mm. <laughs> Until it was time to cut this. <laughs> mm -hmm. I will just put my my dirty text here. Mm -hmm. now. Oh, we have. Oh, we haven't even mentioned her by name by this point. Now then, okay. Um, Jewel stepped out of the pod. Uh, yeah, maybe this, this is a detail. Okay. Right now, there there are some structural issues to, to sort out first. Tung. Sorry. <laughs> This would be more like receive or like uh, accept. Yes. Yeah, accept. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit the microphone. A bit of dust <laughs> sort of like errantly <laughs> drifted down. Whoa, what's that? Oh, uh, fuck ooh. Sake. <laughs> Question this part as well. The reason I'm so jumpy around shit hitting my head is because <laughs> I've I've well used up all of my free concussions by this point. So no more. And I need to turn this one around. So and the low tech robotic voice flooded the shuttle. Yeah. State intent within. <laughs> <laughs> so I know what we're trying to do here for like the exit point for civilian transit, but mm -hmm. C 
since we don't mention the alternative, this is basically a moot point at this point. Also, we haven't done the world building on the other stuff. To yeah, so uh, we can say that it's a center drone. Mm -hmm. it was gu it's guarding something. But... Uh, let me just... Gray this out, Javen. Hmm... This is also very iffy. We're going on a bit of a war against the whole characters who are like rolling their eyes and mm -hmm. things like that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's also a counter for free eye rolls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe not even guarding, but marking. He's sort of just there, isn't he? Yeah. It's it's really more like a waypoint marker, marking something something. Mar marking some point or another. <laughs> so this this again requires some thinking. And the structure of how this goes is they're very brief and very official with one another, mm -hmm. but the pacing around it makes it a, a sort of, not drawn out, but it makes it the perfect sort of flow. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a good balance there. Yeah, so the, the, the slow, uh, like, the slowdown effect is justified because Jewel is fresh out of stasis and sort of, like, coming to mm-hmm so so there it should be a little bit choppy and also the drone is probably not the newest freshest no. out of the assembly line <laughs> no <laughs> yeah he's uh he's kicking on a bit okay this stuff between you know like the whole state destination Chalasi Prison Station 1, that's I think pretty much spot on. Mm -hmm. um, and yes, drone processes information, uh, Jewel attaches, or Jewel, um, <laughs> all this in like one sentence would just be like Jewel re equips, you know, like that. Yeah. And then. And I could I say here, I could add here that this time... Nice. That's an interesting font colour you've chosen. It's, oh! Oh! What? Oh, okay. I understand <laughs> what's happening. <laughs> this time the nightsticks come out as well. Mm. Oh my god, we're ready to fuck some shit up. <laughs> And also, uh, we can, I think maybe let's be a little bit vague with the where exactly what yeah. is. Yeah. Because this is this is the point where a reader will probably imagine on mm -hmm. their own where something is. And if somebody is very knowledgeable in some gear... Uh, and and we make bold claims about and this thing went exactly here and that thing went exactly there it's it's just gonna ruin it for them the the amount of thought I have given to rogue's back scabbard because of fucking Lindy Bage <laughs> is just one example of this man like seriously so yes uh, yeah let the reader figure this shit out on their own it's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> Interpret at your own peril. Yes. So I think... I mean... And, spoilers, it changes from... Like, when, when I was doing the Dirty Text version, mm -hmm. every single chapter that these weapons made an appearance, they were in different locations. Ah. So... It's uh, the dirty text was not a consistent because at some point she'd have them on her thighs and then at other points she'd have them like Jane Wood from from Serenity, you know, when they're doing the bank job and he's got the MP5 and uh, it's like strapped up to his chest 
diagonally. Uh, it, sometimes it would be that, and other times it would be like on a stomach or around a stomach and all shit like that. So yeah, just leave it up to the reader. Yeah, I personally would place the SMG holsters on ties. So you mean they're on slings? No, like, uh, you know, five camera, you know, five holsters, which are totally a thing. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm with you. But yeah, I think uh, let's keep keep the details sort of vague. Yeah. Uh, okay. And again, I think I I think I have enough notes to carry on with this one. So dialogue, drone dialogue, okay. Bold claims, nay. Mm-hmm. That's that's kind of catchy. <laughs> when you in a few years' time, when you start your own school of editing, you're gonna have to base your teachings around like ten rules. That's gonna be one of them. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that that doesn't apply everywhere. That's just in this particular situation mm -hmm. that the dialogue yeah. is okay. I like the idea of you running an editing school. <laughs> training up thousands of more other ruthless editors and unleashing <laughs> them on the world. <laughs> <laughs> What have you done? <laughs> <laughs> it would be one of the more aggressive editing houses. <laughs> mm. Oh yes, I do not doubt it. <laughs> we run like a military school as well. Yes, uh. a proper, proper dojo. Yeah. <laughs> you send people out to clean the, the building and you're like, it's a metaphor, you're cleansing your soul! <laughs> and you also get a tidy dojo at the end of it, so everything's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jewel slid the drone's chat channel off to one side and glanced over the wealth of information her shuttle had collected along the journey. According to the data they had gleaned on their flyby, Trelasi Prison Station 1 had recently undergone a, conv a convict upheaval forcing the remaining guards to flee in escape pods. She didn't like the sound of that. A station to taken over by criminals, some of which she may have put there, was a recipe for disaster. Yeah, just cut the whole thing. I agree with that, yes. Jewel tried to put her dry mouth to the back of her mind as she read through the data. It was a small wonder that a group of convicts had organised themselves well enough to survive alone as long as they had. It also seemed that no one was coming to look for them, probably in the hopes that the station would just go away without external intervention. At least it was still on a stable order, orbit around Trelasi 2, and the console listed no obvious faults. Uh, yes, agree with cut the whole sentence. Bloop. See ya. Okay, uh, sliding the chat channel to one side. Uh, yeah, that's that's like a touch touch screen thing again I want to be vague mm. about this but she can sort of send it to another display yeah send oh I know how to say it in a very quick efficient manner send to a side display mm-hmm Also, there, uh, blah. So now comes the part where the world building needs to needs to be synced. So, no claims about cleaning data on the flyby, but she can check and wait for. Info channels within this system. And Trelasi's doing pretty well for herself. She would have a connection pretty without many problems. 
It wouldn't be like Skype these days. God damn it! No, this it uh, no, 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 no. This this is a physical issue. This this isn't the thing of how good a connection you have. This is an issue of distances. Like if you're, you have to like let's say you're somewhere in the system, mm -hmm. and and the nearest broadcasting things are far away as Mars is from us. You would you would have to wait for an hour before you get any data because even if they broadcast well, it still wouldn't get there. Uh, however, in this case, this this very drone could, yep. could work as some sort of relay. So, uh, he m I I see it as the drone won't have the most up to date information, but it will be like you know like a like a day old or something it won't be the most on the hour like google news kind yeah, of deal yeah it's it's not real time and and i think this is something to bring in uh, in many more places and indeed in uh, when we're discussing later on when when raptor describes his uh, overseer clearance he mm -hmm. too doesn't operate on real time data like all all the uh, all the inform important information is delivered as if by packages. Yeah. Basically. Flee in escape pods. Why was this flat undergone a conversation? Okay, so if you were to think about it, like what would be in a news article, or what would be in information gleaned? Um. It prob it probably wouldn't mention. Yeah, I think uh, I think it was too specific. Yeah. Like uh, you hear that the guards got out, but either uh, either an escape pod is a standard equipment that you would assume somebody uses. In which case, why why bring it up? It's it's like that we had when you say we there were survivors of the Titanic. You don't say there were survivors of the Titanic, they made it out in lifeboats, because that's almost a sort of given. Mm -hmm. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. That might have been a really bad example. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, de example. Depend depending on the ship. <laughs> yeah, okay. Titanic was the only ship I could think of that had undergone such a disaster. I, lit I literally got Mary Celeste. I don't even know what that is. That's a ghost ship, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> okay, now, either I have missed something reading, but Jewel tried to put her dry mouth to the back of her mind. Did I thought that as well. We haven't even mentioned that yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, wait, did I have. Maybe I have cut out some sentence somewhere. I apologise for the break in proceedings. <laughs> okay, Normal well, viewing has resumed. Where were we? Okay, so... Data... Uh, jewel... So this is... I think this is the first mention that... Uh, that she might be a wee bit dehydrated. Hmm. Mm. Right, the the sort of speculations about the station are also a little bit iffy. Yeah. Uh, it also seems that no one was coming to look for them. I think is a good place to stop the sentence and cut out the rest. No. Yeah. And then say at least at least the station was still in stable orbit and functioning or something of that sort at least it was still on a stable orbit or in a stable orbit what's the correct I don't know huh. at least it was still in a stable I I personally would say in but I can see why on would work as well I don't know I would say at at least it was still at a state. Or, or no, ma you've completely lost me now. Maintaining <laughs> state is a uh, stable orbit because yeah. orbit is not the place. Orbit is a process. Yeah. 
maintaining stable orbit around Trellos, yeah. So it's more like it was, otherwise it was functioning and, yeah, on, mm. on a stable orbit. I, this might be reading too much into this, but I, I kind of imagine that the data she's reading doesn't put these criminals in an especially good light, which is why she comes to the conclusion like, wow, this is fucking mad that they've managed to survive so long. All right. But that's reading a lot deeper mm -hmm. but I like to think that's the case <laughs> so records da -da -da -da. oh this is the next bit already mm. oh, okay do you want me to start reading I don't know I'm, I'm starting to get distracted I want to check what my sister's doing maybe she brought some cake or something Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> and and also, uh, since this chapter seems to require a little bit of uh, touch-ups on the world building as well, uh, I, I can again, I will probably wo I won't probably reach up to here on my own. I think I might be able to work through chapter four because right now with my combing dealings I'm in the middle of chapter three so let's let's see about that uh, add the note where we were where we was mm-hmm and let's let's continue another time I suppose question mark uh, finished here for the day <laughs> 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 stay stay objective within <laughs> <laughs> or state reason within. <laughs> mm. Yep. Okay then, I will cut this recording and produce some glorious snippets. Mm hmm. And uh, we shall see you next time or whatever. Bye!